Taylor polynomials give rise to long formulas which are not immediately self-evident. With Cabri Express one can easily visualize the Taylor polynomials of a function and explore at which accuracy they approximate this function. An example, the sine function. The first Taylor polynomial is x. First discovery. The graph of the Taylor polynomial of degree 3 seems to be a good approximation of the sine function on interval, minus 1, plus 1. Is it possible to do better and to find a Taylor polynomial which is a good approximation of the function on interval, minus pi, pi? The graph of the Taylor polynomial of degree 9 seems to be a good approximation of the function on interval, minus pi, pi. But with what accuracy? The visualization of the graphs brings critical information about the error made when approximating sine x by a Taylor polynomial. When the graph of one Taylor polynomial is below the graph of sine x, the graph of the next Taylor polynomial is above the graph of sine x and conversely. Therefore, the error in approximating by a Taylor polynomial is no more than the absolute value of the difference between itself and the next Taylor polynomial. With two digits to the right of the decimal point, it seems to be equal to zero, but the Cabri calculator enables one to display ten digits after the decimal point. It confirms that the Taylor polynomial of degree 9 is a good approximation on this interval. In less than 4 minutes with Cabri Express, we may do a lot. Exploring the abstract notion of Taylor polynomial. Visualizing it. And obtaining numerical information with high precision about the approximation.